Injectifer, ferric carboxy maltose injection, is an iron replacement product indicated for the treatment of iron deficiency anemia, IDA, in adult patients who have intolerance to or have had unsatisfactory response to oral iron or who have non-dialysis-dependent chronic kidney disease, NDD-CKD. Injectifer, or ferric carboxy maltose injection, is a dextrin-free iron formulation for intravenous use. It has a shell made of a carbohydrate polymer called carboxy maltose that is tightly bound around a colloidal iron-3 hydroxide core. It has a neutral pH and physiologic osmolarity. Its structure is similar to that of physiologic ferritin, the body's iron storage protein. Together, the chemical characteristics of this molecular structure may enable Injectifer to deliver a large amount of iron in a controlled fashion. After administration, enzymes in the blood partially degrade the Injectifer carbohydrate shell, but no iron is released. It is likely then taken up by macrophages of the reticuloendothelial system, or RES. Inside the macrophages, enzymes gradually break down the carbohydrate shell that is tightly bound to the iron core. Iron is released slowly and may be stored mainly in the liver as ferritin, the storage protein. Alternatively, it may be exported to the plasma. In the plasma, iron is bound by transferrin, the transport protein. Transferrin delivers iron to cells in the liver and spleen or to the bone marrow, where it can be used for hemoglobin synthesis and red blood cell formation. The chemical characteristic of the iron carbohydrate complex means that iron is released slowly. As a result, the transferrin available for uptake does not become fully saturated with iron. This entire process results in a controlled release of iron into the bloodstream. The number one IV iron in oncology clinics and fastest growing IV iron in the United States is Injectifer, a dextrin-free iron carbohydrate complex with a controlled release of iron. Indications. Injectifer, ferric carboxy maltose injection, is an iron replacement product indicated for the treatment of iron deficiency anemia, IDA, in adult patients who have intolerance to oral iron or have had unsatisfactory response to oral iron, and in adult patients with non-dialysis-dependent chronic kidney disease. Important safety information. Contraindications. Injectifer is contraindicated in patients with hypersensitivity to Injectifer or any of its inactive components. Warnings and precautions. Serious hypersensitivity reactions, including anaphylactic type reactions, some of which have been life-threatening and fatal, have been reported in patients receiving Injectifer. Patients may present with shock, clinically significant hypotension, loss of consciousness, and or collapse. Monitor patients for signs and symptoms of hypersensitivity during and after Injectifer administration for at least 30 minutes and until clinically stable following completion of the infusion. Only administer Injectifer when personnel and therapies are immediately available for the treatment of serious hypersensitivity reactions. In clinical trials, serious anaphylactic anaphylactoid reactions were reported in 0.1%, two of 1,775 of subjects receiving Injectifer. Other serious or severe adverse reactions potentially associated with hypersensitivity, which included but were not limited to pruritus, rash, urticaria, wheezing, or hypotension, were reported in 1.5%, 26 of 1,775 five of these subjects. In clinical studies, hypertension was reported in 3.8%, 67 of 1,775 of subjects. Transient elevations in systolic blood pressure, sometimes occurring with facial flushing, dizziness, or nausea, were observed in 6%, 106 of 1,775 of subjects. These elevations generally occurred immediately after dosing and resolved within 30 minutes. Monitor patients for signs and symptoms of hypertension following each injectifer administration. In the 24 hours, following administration of Injectifer. Laboratory assays may overestimate serum iron and transferrin-bound iron by also measuring the iron in Injectifer. 
Adverse reactions. In two randomized clinical studies, a total of 1,775 patients were exposed to injectifer, 15 milligrams per kilogram of body weight, up to a single maximum dose of 750 milligrams of iron on two occasions, separated by at least seven days, up to a cumulative dose of 1,500 milligrams of iron. Adverse reactions reported by at least 2% of injectifer treated patients were nausea, 7.2%, hypertension, 3.8%, flushing, hot flush, 3.6%, blood phosphorus decreased. 2.1% and dizziness 2.0%. The following serious adverse reactions have been most commonly reported from the post-marketing spontaneous reports. Urticaria, dyspnea, pruritus, tachycardia, erythema, pyrexia, chest discomfort, chills, angioedema, back pain, arthralgia, and syncope. To report adverse events, please contact American Region at 1-800-734-9236. You may also contact the FDA at www.fda.gov medwatch or 1-800-FDA-1 Please see full prescribing information in the accompanying package insert.